Oh, McCree, my dear sweet summer child, where you been? I've been playing a lot of competitive season three, and one thing I haven't noticed is McCree. Yes, that's right. The guy who's dominated the DPS slot for some months now. You could even arguably say basically since the game launched, he's been one of the premier go-to DPS heroes, and it's true. But lately, I haven't been seeing so much of him, but he hasn't changed much. He wasn't nerfed in the last patch beyond the blanket 25% ultimate nerf, which you can argue affects more heroes than others, but it could be said, because McCree is so strong with his flashbang and gun, that he is one of the heroes affected the less, because his ultimate isn't that amazing, and never has been, so it taking longer to charge doesn't make a big deal. So, if McCree wasn't nerfed, and the 25% blanket ultimate nerf affected him less than other heroes, what's happened? Well, Soldier happened. That damn freaking perfect Superman of a boy came in and took up McCree's spot, the rugged guy from the West. The cow wrangler got replaced from freaking this dude. And it makes sense. And this is just, a, I think, a great example, honestly, of the trends of this game. The, there's, there are six slots for heroes. So when you have heroes with even somewhat overlapping roles, I'm not going to sit here and try to convince anybody that McCree and Soldier are exactly the same, but they fill a similar position. That medium range hit scan DPS. They they fill that role very well. Now they both have different utility and different strengths and weaknesses, but nevertheless, there's only six slots. So you got a couple of tanks, you got a couple of healers, and you got a slot for a couple of DPS. But it, what if you want a flanker? You got one mid-range DPS, a flanker, two tanks, two healers. Or what if you're running in the new three tank meta? You've got three tanks, two healers, and one DPS. That spot is limited. And in a game like Overwatch, you don't want too many people with overlapping positions. As such, recently, with the rise in Soldier 76, and my goodness, there's a good reason, because he is much stronger now with his increased bullet damage, much more capable of, of bursting down those 200 health heroes than he was ever before. Soldier's biggest problem in the past was that he did decent, consistent damage, but it never felt like quite enough burst to take out heroes before they could be healed back up again. But even with a slight increase of just a couple of damage, damage per bullet, he has now risen to what feels like the top. I am seeing a ton of Soldier 76s and much less McCree's. Now, that is not to say at all that McCree isn't viable anymore. I think I've, I've come to this spot where I no longer want to make those claims. I'm seeing Torbjorn and pre-buff Symmetra mains up in Grandmasters this season. We cannot pretend that heroes aren't viable in certain circumstances or in the hands of certain players. And again, McCree hasn't been changed in the most recent patch so his uh fall from grace if you will isn't because he's he's worse than he was last season but it's because soldier is better so it has felt to me like yeah mccree's been replaced oh it kills me too yeah, thematically he is hands down one of my favorite characters hey the, the, the rugged cowboy my lady <laughs> <laughs> He's just a badass. It says it on his belt. He's a bamf. I mean, you can't get past that. She's just oozing with personality and persona. Yeah, man. McCree's always been thematically one of my favorite characters. I played him a ton back in the alpha. Uh, I kind of put him by the wayside a bit in season one, but I picked him up again in season two. I'm loving him in season three, but I can already tell that, that, that the general community seems to be preferring Soldier 76. I mean, hell, I've been told to get off McCree and play 76 six instead in some of my games. Can you believe that? Get off McCree. Dude, if someone said that in season two, they'd have their head chopped off by the rest of their team because it's an insane proposition. And again, nothing's changed with McCree. Now it seems like there's some people in the community that are getting this idea that, oh, you gotta play Soldier 76 now. He's the new meta. Oh God, I just talked about this in a video. I finally come around to this wave thinking, dude, shut up. I don't want to hear it. McCree didn't a turn to garbage. Sir, Soldier 76 is better now, but don't tell me to get off McCree, especially if I'm kicking ass. So it's all of you out there who feel bad that their favorite cowboy has been replaced by Soldier 76 because there are only so many spots for a medium range hit scan hero because there's so many, only so many spots for DPS in a team of six. I feel your pain. It makes me sad too, but realize he's still as amazing as he was last season. That hasn't changed. We could have discussions about the shift in the meta and how new heroes becoming popular make other heroes less viable, etc. 
etc. Maybe some, uh, maybe the new triple tank meta makes it so that McCree's not quite as good, but is Soldier better? It's it's a it, it's a conversation that could be had ad nauseum, and it, it could be a never-ending argument. But please, guys, don't don't worry about it. Still play McCree if you're good at McCree. <laughs> good for McCree. Poor McCree, what happened? You were the king. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for me here today. Hope you all have a fantastic afternoon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see you later.